Hey everyone, welcome to day six on board the Norwegian Bliss. We are in Ketchikan, Alaska today. We are docked at Ward Cove, which is away from the main downtown area. So you do have to take some shuttles, as I'll show you guys in just a second. But I'm just gonna have like a light breakfast today at the buffet for the first time. It's, there's like no one on board because everyone's off the ship because we docked around seven and all the boards at 12.30. So very, very short port day today. So people are off the ship exploring, right? But my hope is to after breakfast, walk around a little bit and then fingers crossed that the water slides are open today because it's dry. I haven't gone down the water slides yet, so hopefully I can go down the aqua racer and maybe the ocean loops, we'll see. But yeah, it's gonna be an awesome day, guys. I'm gonna show you the views. There we go. And be sure to hit that like button, everyone. And if you're not subscribed, please do subscribe to my channel and also enable those notifications. You can see the buffet is completely empty. This is not normal on a normal, <laughs> 9 30 a.m day on the cruise because again we have a very short port day right but as you can see here this is ketchikan alaska again this is not the main downtown area this is ward cove it's another dock nearby ketchikan and they do have to take shuttles to the main area so um yeah and again observation lounge again empty as well again this is great this is probably the least packed i've ever seen the buffet this whole cruise <laughs> all right guys it is slide day on board the norwegian bliss we are here in ketchikan and uh, again it's turned out to be a beautiful day the sun is coming out i believe the slides are going to open here pretty soon and i'm going to go uh on them it's going to be awesome so this is the this is the ocean loop slide right here can you basically it's like a you know the floor beneath you opens up you slide right down and there's a bunch of ocean mist spray in your face and of course here you have the aqua racer which is the inner tube slide which is a lot of fun highly recommend both of them if you want thrill you want to go on this one ocean loop if you want chill and relaxing and not scary, <laughs> uh, this is the one you want to go on. Again, I've done both of them multiple times. But it's a lot of fun. You guys will love them. Hey guys, I just confirmed with one of the staff members that the Aqua Racer is open. It's going to be open in about 20 minutes. So it opens at 10 a.m. here. It's about 9.40 right now, local time, right? So I'm going to go get ready and, uh, you know, go down the slides. It's going to be a lot of fun. I don't have my waterproof pouch with me, so I can't take video on the slides but hey that's all good right i'll tell you guys about it later on probably during my live and stuff but, or on the video as well um but yeah so that's the aqua racer opens in 20 minutes and here is the ocean loop slide look at that guys so funny story about the ocean loop slides so i went on the inaugural in 2018 and i was one of the first people to go on this slide and i, I guess i'm light right so i went down i went down this i went down the Two, right right and i went i went, made it up here but then about right there <laughs> i got stuck and i had to go backwards so they had to open the latch for me and take me out and i went again and i made it all the way around i guess when my swimsuit when my you know shorts and everything got wet um i became heavier so the next time i went i made it so anyways funny story about jt getting stuck on those slides his first time ever doing it um, but again the aqua racer there's no lines everyone's off the ship i'm definitely gonna go this down multiple times guys it's gonna be epic here we go i just want to give you perspective of ward cove here in ketchikan again it's a cloudy day the sun is breaking out which is awesome no rain in the forecast today or tomorrow on our last day as we head to victoria as you can see they're getting all slides ready very nice Staff members are here again. Again, the pool deck. I mean, this is the empty you'll ever see a ship. It's because everyone's off the ship right now, right? It's crazy, but it's really cool. It's a great time to actually go down the slides because it's not busy. So um, yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Can't wait. And here you can see uh, the the dock at Ward Cove. That's the walkway area. And customers will get off right there, and then they'll just walk into downtown, take some shuttles, and head to downtown. It's about a 10-15 minute uh, shuttle ride from what I hear. So. Beautiful too. You got the sun coming out right there. Time for some slide action. I just want to give you a perspective on an empty pool deck. <laughs> this is what four days on cruise ships look like for the most part. Like I mentioned, you know, everyone's gotten off the ship today because we're only in catch can until about 12.30. Well, we leave at 1, but all the boards are 12.30. So the next few hours, it's going to start getting busier here again. But I just want to give you guys perspective what what uh, port day on a ship looks like. This is why I love staying on the ship. It's empty. You can enjoy all the onboard amenities without the crowds. I'm like in the pools open, everything is ready to go. So that's pretty guys. So I'm at the buffet for lunch and honestly I've already started my ice cream, but look at the best advice ever. Eat it all. Yes I will. Just enjoying a beautiful day here as we leave Catch Can Alaska and I headed to Victoria. It's gonna be pretty much uh, all day at sea today and all day at sea tomorrow and then we get to Victoria at 8 p.m. So 
pretty much sea days back to back on, in a way. So, but like the sun's come out, it's absolutely beautiful. And I'm looking forward to another fun day. Hey guys, here I am on the pool deck after an amazing lunch. Again, it's day six. We just left Catch Can, Alaska. And now I'm just gonna kind of walk around the ship a little bit, go down to Deal or No Deal. This is another game show, which I love seeing. And then I'll be going live on YouTube. But yeah, guys, this has been an awesome day. The weather's getting blue skies, and it's gonna be epic. So yeah, here we go. Oh, great day. Getting ready to perform for the folks here. It's gonna be pretty awesome. So testing yeah, we are officially on our way to Victoria, BC. And again, it's turned out to be a beautiful day. You know, it's been cloudy for the most part, but then the blue sky came out and uh, it's been awesome. Like I can see we're here on deck six. Pretty close to the waterline right here, and we're getting ready for some deal or no deal yeah. action. If you're not our safe contestant, you play along with your safe contestant opening the same briefcases using your deal or no deal card. What you're looking for is a match. What is the match? Let's say we're watching deal or no deal and a girl named Brittany won $300 and guess what, she's get to go so again. Okay. So random, that's amazing. I've never seen this before where the same ah. contestant goes two times. Eight, that's nine. fun. Here we go, yeah, five same, same girl. So she won $300, she went the whole way. And that was crazy because she kept saying no deal, no deal, no deal. Her case 15 had 300 bucks. Now she's gonna do six, now she's playing again, right? So that's crazy. I can't believe it. I've never seen the same contestant win twice. Maybe it's her, maybe it's her lucky day today. Awesome. Hey guys, Kuzmi JT here, and I decided to come to the Manhattan room tonight. Uh, you know, I went to the buffet just to see what kind of Indian food options there were. And tonight, I, I look at the menu for the Manhattan room, it looked pretty good, and the the Indian food options today at the buffet were like, okay, I can maybe pass on it. So I was like, let me just go here today. Um, I can always go there for lunch tomorrow. But yeah, so I'm gonna show you guys the menu here and uh, at the Manhattan room on board the Bliss. All right, and the menu tonight on board the Norwegian Bliss. I'm gonna get the avocado hummus for sure and the bruschetta. And I'm gonna get, I'm gonna pass on the bakery salad. <laughs> Uh, they got the classics here, the three cheese baked ziti, which sounds pretty interesting as well. Um, but I might get the spaghetti puttanesca. I love olives, and I'm vegetarian for folks who may not know. All right, but it looks pretty good. And of course, they have the other options here as well. And I might get a glass of wine as well to put my meal. But yeah, guys, there you go. Tonight's meal. This is day six on board the Norwegian Bliss. Hey, guys. I also want to share the view I have today. I got very lucky with the window views. So, um, yeah, let's check out this beautiful view of Dragon Guys, here's my table, number four, and look at the view. It's gotten a little bit more cloudier as the day has, or the evening has progressed. Uh, again, shout out to everyone who came on for my two hour plus YouTube live again. That was a lot of fun, guys. Thank you so much for coming out. Shout out to everyone that made it today. It's awesome. And uh, as you can see here, we got a beautiful view. Uh, again, it's cloudy now, but um, hopefully there's no rain. But again, it's gonna be a great view while having an amazing dinner as well, so. All right, guys, so for dinner tonight, I gotta get my favorite bruschetta. It's absolutely delicious. Look at the quality there. I also got this uh, pita chips with um, hummus and like pesto mix, which is, looks really delicious. And of course, I haven't had my, uh, my, I haven't started on my bread yet, but I will be soon. Got the bread and the butter. I also got to get a glass of wine too when the gentleman comes. But yeah, this is our uh, dinner tonight. Oh, of course, some veggie sticks as well. Gotta eat healthy. <laughs> oh, of course, I got my wipe there. Washi washi. Healthy, healthy, happy, happy. Hey guys, the dinner has been phenomenal so far. The bruschetta, the bread, the butter, the veggie sticks, and the, the, the pita bread with the hummus has been phenomenal. I also got to chat with some amazing folks, cruisers next to me, learn more about them, their background, and of course, uh, now they know about cruising with JT as well. So I love striking up a conversation with other folks. Uh, again, I'm a very, I'm a, I'm a very extrovert, right? So I can, you know, I'm not shy to say hello, hi. Um, yeah, it's been an amazing dinner so far, guys, and I'm gonna show you this amazing entree that I just got as well. Here we go. All right, so for dinner tonight, we got the spaghetti uh, sauce here with some uh, olives and some capers as well. I can't remember the exact name for it, but it looks pretty good. So I'm gonna enjoy it and I'll let you guys know how it is. And after that is dessert. Hey guys, just wanna say it's been an amazing dinner experience so far tonight here at the Manhattan Room. Again, this is day six. I'm gonna have an amazing dessert here in a little bit. And then I'm gonna head over to the atrium for some hilarious game shows, right? So we got the Battle of the Sexes, Battle of the Sexes at 8 p.m. So I might be a little bit late, but that's fine. 
But then they have the perfect couple game show, which is always fun because I don't know if you guys have been to like a newlywed game shows. They're hilarious. It's gonna be awesome. Can't wait. Oh, wow, guys, look at that. So this is the Snickers like shortcake. Oh my gosh, I don't know. This looks like amazing. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my God, this is amazing. Totally worth the wait. Snickers like pound cake or something. I don't know. This is awesome. Hey guys, so after dinner, I actually went over to the atrium and they had like a lot of you know events going on, like game shows, like the Battle of the Sexes and the Perfect Couple game show. And then I kind of and then they had like another like dance party and then the nineties nineties dance party as well. And then before I knew it was already midnight. And of course we had to move forward an hour as well, so it's already one a.m. So I'm gonna call the night. Day six it will officially come to a close. Of course, tomorrow is day seven, our final day on the Norwegian Bliss as we pretty much a sea day and then we're heading over up to Victoria so should be a great last day and I uh, can't wait to show you guys the last bit of Norwegian bliss until next time guys this is cruising with JT saying good night thank you again for watching and take care and a special shout out to all my patreon and youtube members thank you so much for your additional support if you'd like to become a patreon or youtube member i'll include the links in the description below it's basically a behind the scenes view of cruising with jt and special access to various benefits and perks and inside information into my upcoming videos so if you do decide to join i truly appreciate your support this video is sponsored by mei travel feel free to reach out to me at cruisingwithjt at gmail.com and i'll get you connected to my travel agent at mei travel she'll take great care of you and i'll also include the information in the description below Thank you so much.